much about don't burn the house down, don't make mistakes. How do you think you sort of protected the ball and camp and in the scrimmage? I feel like in the scrimmage I did really well protecting the ball. Uh, I didn't turn the ball over at all in the scrimmage, so that was my, my biggest thing, just being efficient out there, moving the chains and uh, driving down the field. Coach talked about, too, about 71% completion percentage of most of your passes on target in the scrimmage. And I guess what, when you reviewed it, were there any plays or highlights that you were really proud of? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I did pr pretty well out there. and uh, was on target with a lot of my balls, but there's uh, always things you can correct when you're watching film. You're never going to go out there and play an absolute perfect game. There's always just things you can work on and get better at. And, I mean, this is an NFL system, like I've said many times. There's always going to be things that we can work on and get better at. It's going to take time before you're really perfect at executing this offense at the highest level. Do you think uh, three, three guys, one job? You know, wh where do you think you stand right now? It's not up to me. We're all doing really well. I mean, we'll see who goes out there, really. I mean, it's not much I can really say about it. Do you feel it's very even? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're all doing really well out there. Everybody, you can see the growth in all of us, and that's a... Uh, it's been cool because, you know, we're always working together in the summer and uh, seeing us all grow out there and, like, and grow and celebrate with each other when we're out there making plays all the time. What are you most pleased with about yourself? What makes you think you could be the starter here? Uh, just everything that Coach Eno's worked on with me is uh, my timing, my footwork, and throwing the ball and then uh, just getting in rhythm with, like, under center and doing some of the draw, the action, like, the action stuff. Uh, different things like that, you know, that was kind of my – my biggest thing was to, I want to work on that the under center stuff that I wasn't, I haven't done since seventh grade. So that was my biggest thing is like pretty much the whole summer for me was working under center. I didn't do too much shotgun and things like that because that's been stuff that I've been doing. But I worked a lot on uh, under center stuff, making sure I'm proficient and can run the offense under center as well. Do you feel as proficient under center now as you've always felt under the, in the shotgun? Yeah, after the scrimmage, uh, you know, after we got done with the spring game, I was like, you know, I really don't like this under center stuff. Like, I was like, hopefully this puts me in the gun for the whole time. But now it's like I worked on it because it's like, this is what I like. I need to be able to do this for the team, for the team success. I need to be able to go out there and uh, do really well with the under center stuff and be able to drive us down the field with whatever he calls and whatever he thinks will help the team. So that's all I worked on during the summer, really. It's like most of my time was working the under center stuff, ball action, like different things like that. Um, just because I wanted to be able to go out there and, you know, play well for the team with whatever we need to do. The first team reps, has it been pretty good from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, I'm, they, they've done a good job of tackling and pretty all their backs and reps. So, so what it is, I feel like everybody's kind of giving them a shot at it. Yeah, no, no doubt. What are the emotions like now? Is it kind of nerve-wracking for you? you know? I mean, obviously, we all, we all want to start, so that's in the back of your head, but you can't go out there and think about it. you got to go out there and just play. Have you been surprised by the level of competition here? I mean, obviously you had a blank canvas when you decided to transfer from Ohio State and you chose Miami. Have you, have you been surprised at the level of competition with Nicosi and Jaron that you found here? No, I mean, there's always going to be competition no matter where you go. I mean, they're both really good quarterbacks. Cozy played last year. Jaron was a top recruit coming out of high school. I mean, we're all around that same area. I mean, me and Cozy were top guys in our class. And then there's Jaron, who was a top guy in his class. And, you know, we all have our accolades and all that stuff, none of that stuff matters. We just got to go out there and play every day, and they're going to end up choosing who was, who was executing at the highest level. Hey, what do you anticipate tomorrow being like, you know, who plays at stake and, and just looking forward to it tomorrow? Uh, just going to go out there and play my game, really. I mean, obviously, if I go out there and play my game, I feel like uh, everything will work out.